All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Roshi here. And like I told you guys a few days ago, I am coming through with this Q&A video for you guys today. So hopefully you had a chance to throw a question in my community post when I was asking you guys for questions for this video. Um, so I'm gonna be answering not all of them, obviously, because this would be a forever long video, but I'm gonna, I'm answering a lot of them. Um, so almost half of the questions I'm gonna be answering. And some of them will repeat questions, so your question might still be answered anyway. Um, so just watch and you'll find out if yours was answered. I'm just gonna throw up the questions right here as I'm reading them off of my phone and give you guys an answer to those questions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of video because this is the first time I'm doing a Q&A. And a lot of you asked a lot of anime related questions. So even though I gave you guys free reign to ask me whatever you wanted, a lot of you chose to stick to this anime related topics, which is a bit strange, but I also got a lot of non anime related questions. So that's cool too. So I get to give you guys a little bit more insight on me and my life and what I'm into. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. So first up, we have Katame. First question was, how old are you and your wife? Katame, we are both 28 years old. Um, we mentioned it in a few different videos, so you probably just haven't seen those videos, but we do mention um, that we're 28 years old. So yeah, there goes that one. Tanisha Tanzia, can you do more God of War videos? All right, so here's the thing with the God of War videos, right? We know that at this point they're like YouTube classic videos, right? But there's also this thing where we don't want to kill the joke. So in me and Lupasan's opinion, a lot of YouTubers do a ridiculous amount of sequels to you know, videos that would break out hits, runaway successes that were meant to be. So they try to follow it up with a lot of sequels to try and recapture that magic. We're not those people. So we did the second God of War video because we felt like we had enough content and jokes to make it funny and make it worth our time. And at this point, yes, there's some stuff we could possibly do, but at this moment in time, we don't think that we could make it to the level that we made the first two and make it as funny so instead of giving you guys a piece of shit video we're sparing you guys the torture and we're gonna hold off until possibly the next god of war video or maybe as time passes and we come up with some more ideas and, and different ways to do things creatively we'll crank out another god of war video but we have tons of other content tons of other sketches you guys can watch that are in my opinion just as funny and in some cases funnier than the god of war video so be sure to check those out and we will continue to crank out sketches so there goes the long answer to your question next this is from fujitora the great aside from dbz are there any other older anime you're a fan of for example, Yu Yu Hakusho, S. Cry, Ed, and Outlaw Star. Yes, absolutely. You named two of them. Yu Yu Hakusho is one of my favorite anime of all time. Um, Outlaw Star is up there. And I'm actually glad you mentioned Outlaw Star because I bring Outlaw Star up to people a lot. And they're usually like, what? What is that? Um, another honorable mention is Tenchi Muyo for me. I loved Tenchi Muyo. So, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I used to watch a whole bunch of different animes. Um... What's another one? Um, Cyborg 009 was straight. Um, yes, that's an anime for those of you who aren't familiar. And G Gundam. G Gundam was my favorite Gundam just because it reminded me of, of Dragon Ball, um, the way that everything was playing out. So yeah, those are a few of the older anime that I really enjoyed. This is from Yeezy underscore. What show got you into watching anime? So. No judgment from anybody here, obviously. There shouldn't be any judgment because we're all anime fans here. The anime that actually got me in watching anime, the first anime I ever watched in life was Sailor Moon. I was a kid. Sailor Moon used to be on TV every single morning while I was getting ready for school. I would watch it. I loved the show. I remember thinking that um, Usagi was raw or Serena in the, in the English dub. I thought the whole thing was dope and I used to get hyped when she used to take off the tiara and like throw it and like beat the shot of people. So yeah, Sailor Moon, fun fact, is the anime that got me into watching anime and Dragon Ball Z followed up with that. Okay, Din Zaklan. Number he has two questions. I answer both of these. 
Number one, your what was your favorite high school memory? And number two, were you in any sports or clubs? I'm gonna answer number two first. No, I was not in any sports or clubs. I enjoyed playing uh, basketball and all that stuff, but I never joined a team. Um, I wasn't into that I've, for the most part. I've always been a lone wolf my whole life. And clubs, I just wasn't into that, <laughs> like period. And my favorite high school memory, and me and Loop would talk about this all the time. So there was a day at school where the pipes had exploded, like the sewage. And so like the whole school was just flooded with like shitty smelling water. It was disgusting, absolutely disgusting. So they were evacuating the school and we were all walking out. Uh, me and Lupa had um, different classes, but they were like right next to each other. So we linked up when we were walking out. And like I said, the, the school is flooded with like shitty water. And there's this girl and she's walking in flip flops and me and Lupa are looking at each other like, like this is not gonna end well for this girl. Cause there was a puddle and everybody was kind of like jumping over this puddle. And you know, we kind of like seen her kind of like, kind of like getting ready to jump in like on some double dash type shit. And she ended up jumping and the back of her foot landed in the puddle and she ended up slipping in the puddle and completely falling in shit water. That was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, um, that girl's probably not watching this video, but if you ever come across this video, I'm sorry that it had to be you, but yeah. So next question, Nexus the Saiyan. What other hobbies do you have besides anime? Um, I'm actually a, a workaholic, so besides anime, I enjoy doing my work, um, watching movies. I'm a big movie fanatic. I, I enjoy a lot of different TV shows. I'm gonna answer those later because those are a couple questions. Uh, and playing video games. So those are, yeah, those are my main hobbies. And currently, right now, YouTube is like my main thing. So I'm always trying to come up with new stuff for you guys, new content. Next, from GOAT. Would you rather get slapped by Almighty Push or take a Rasengan to the face? Wow. Wow. That's a tough one. Now, I don't remember, I've seen a lot of people get killed by an almighty push, but people who take a standard Rasengan usually live to see another day. So I think I'm gonna rock with a Rasengan, even though it's to the face, I think if I got hit with an almighty push, it'd be over for me, but you know, a Rasengan might send me flying into a wall somewhere, but there's there's a small chance that me and my non-anime body would survive and I'd be badly damaged, but at least I'd still be alive. So next, Kim S. How much time does it take to realize your sketches? Do you feel like the effort put into them is rightly rewarded? That's a great question. So. A lot of y'all don't realize this, but those sketches take a long ass time to produce. So even though they're like, you know, usually like two to four minutes long, we'd be out there filming for hours, like doing retakes, doing stuff over, like all kinds of bullshit behind the scenes, then editing and you know, all that other, all that other post process and shit. It takes a long time. I think the longest sketch it took us to do was the um, bleach sketch with the effects and the different color trees and all that stuff. And most of the most of the time filming, it's just me and Lupa, so it's kind of like, okay, let's try to get this angle right to catch both of us or just me right in the scene. And there's a lot of back and forth with it, and it's really time consuming. And do you feel like the effort put into them is rightly rewarded? Um, a lot of times no, but I think that any creator feels the same about their art, you know, that's not, you know, you can't really place that blame on anybody and, and everybody's always going to feel like they worked really hard to put something out and, you know, they didn't get their just due, but like, I'm going to be real with you, the God of War shit was on a whim, like, that was on a whim, we were literally talking about it, we were playing the game, like, yo, let's do this, this will be funny, and we did it, we knocked that out so fast and put that up and the love for that is insane and we really appreciate that but a lot of the a lot of the sketches y'all if y'all pay attention you guys realize that we're not just doing just basic stuff like it's all kinds of cinematography involved different camera angles camera tricks stuff like that so 
yeah, it's a lot of work for anybody that's interested in doing it. If you want to put out quality stuff, it's a lot of work. So just keep that in mind. Next, Richard Williams. What kinds of movies or shows are y'all into? Are y'all into sports? Uh, I'm a passive basketball fan. I watch basketball every now and again. I enjoy playing basketball a lot. Am I like hardcore into it? No. Uh, as far as movies, uh, Shira and I are really into horror movies. Now for the most part, this sucks because the majority of horror movies that come out are trash as fuck. Um, we're also into thrillers, psychological thrillers, action films, and adventure films. We watch a lot of movies. We usually go to the movies like every weekend. We've seen more movies than most of our friends. Uh, like, my favorite show of all time, you didn't ask this, but I'll let you know, my favorite TV show of all time is Breaking Bad. I think that's like the best show ever to grace television. So I'm heavy into stuff like that, like dramas. I'm watching Better Call Saul right now. I love that. Waiting on Game of Thrones to come back. But yeah, that's what we're into. Chris King, do all three of y'all live together? No. We live together um, temporarily. Uh, Lupa has his own place. So that's why you guys don't see him in like every single reaction video. Lupa has his own spot. Um, so yes, Shira and I live together, of course, because that is my wife and Lupa lives on his own. Next, Ryan Nalev Nalevanko. Sorry if I butchered your name, bro. Uh, hey, first off, I think all your content is dope. First came to your channel through God of War skit. So I would like to know what are some of your all time video games and also what's your favorite movie not anime related? Uh, number one, my favorite movie of all time is The Matrix, the very first Matrix. Um, I think that is the most important movie of the 90s and one of the most important movies in the action genre. And every movie has taken, every action movie since The Matrix has taken um, influence from The Matrix. And nobody was doing bullet time and every action flick has like bullet time now and just the way everything was done the matrix is by far my favorite movie ever follow up would be kill bill and you didn't ask this but my favorite movie director of all time is quentin tarantino so anything quentin tarantino puts out is gold for me personally and next question that you had was what are some of your all-time favorite video games and what is okay um my all-time favorite video games. Number one is Metal Gear Solid. That's my favorite video game of all time. Uh, then I would say Gears of War. Um, then I would also say Final Fantasy X. And... Ooh, oh, these are tough questions. Capcom vs. SNK 2 is one of my favorite video games of all time. And let me see if I can crank out one more. Oh! The Dot Hack series. I'm heavy into JRPGs, which is why Final Fantasy X was on this list for me. Um, the Dot Hack series was a series of four separate video games all connected, telling one story, and that is one of the greatest games I've ever played. So, yeah, those are some of the games that define me, and let's throw Devil May Cry in there as well. I'm, the list is longer, but I'm giving you the short list of my most important games. Okay, next question from Silver. Did you think you would be at the level you are now in this YouTube thing? Meaning you have over 78,000 subs and almost at 80K. Also, do you have a goal at the end of the year as in for your channel or YouTuber or life in general? Um, no, I didn't think that I'd be here in a year. Honestly, dead serious. My goal for the year when I started was to get 10,000 in a year. And then I blew past that and I was shocked. And the God of War video had a lot to do with that. The reaction videos had a lot to do with that. And I am honestly was I honestly was not expecting that, but I appreciate all the love that you guys have given me. And my goal for the end of this year is to hit 100,000. Not sure if it's gonna happen. Hopefully, the way I'm trending, I might hit it by the end of the year, but worst case scenario, I'll hit it the early next year. Um, also, well, yeah, my goal for early next year is to just see the birth of my daughter and have a healthy child running around here that's just like a bonus okay Darius and Michael what other shows will be will you be reacting to until My Hero Academia season 4 airs so fun story um, we tried to do the reaction to episode 1 of Sword Art Online season 3 because I found out that that came out and we love Sword Art Online and then I uploaded it and got hit with a copyright strike so I just gave up on that one because that was like an hour long episode anyway. 
So I felt like it was hopeless for that, but we will be reacting to future episodes of Sword Art Online Season 3. So hopefully you guys join for that. And we're gonna start reacting to Overlord. So yeah, um, I've heard great things about Overlord, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Okay, Virtuda in the Shadows. I remember you saying you're wor you work in cinematography and or videography. As an inspiring videographer, what steps did you take to become successful? Also, what steps would you recommend for someone starting out? Uh, funny, a lot of the things I learned, whether it be videography or graphic design or Photoshop or anything like that, I learned from YouTube. I did go to college. My personal opinion was that it was a complete waste of time and I learned more from YouTube afterward when I was actually getting jobs. I would take, people would ask me if I could, if I knew how to do stuff and I'd be like, yeah, when I really didn't. And I just taught myself, I've watched hundreds, almost thousands of hours of YouTube videos to learn the skill set that I have and how to use all that. I also have a lot of friends that I make, you know, I made friends with videographers and watched what they do, learned, uh, bought some equipment and that was, important as well um, I invested my money in specific equipment that was really expensive and forced myself to learn how to use it so that's some tips for you do a lot of research a lot of experimentation um, also don't just buy an expensive camera and think it's gonna do the work for you it's not you start to put in the time and effort to learn and master it so yeah there goes that so Defo oh nice follow-up what is your job outside of YouTube and would you like to make YouTube a profession one day? Been here since day one, homie. Keep up the good work. First, I appreciate you being here since day one. That's love. Um, really do appreciate it. My job outside of YouTube, I am a freelance graphic designer and videographer and photographer. Um, I'm With my graphic design work, I mostly dabble in the realm of music. So I do a lot of single artwork, promotional materials. Um, I work for a couple of record labels. Fun fact, I've done stuff for... Meek Mill, Future, I've done stuff for Wale, um, Sage and Gemini, um, a few, oh, damn, a few, a few other people. I've done stuff for a lot of, a lot of people. Uh, oh, Gucci Man. Fun fact: When Gucci Man got out of jail, and that first commercial hit TV for his album, when um, Everybody Looking was coming out, I was actually the one that created that advertisement that you saw on TV. Fun fact: Yeah, you guys didn't know that. Um, actually, you know what? I'll put the link to my personal portfolio. I'll put that down in the description so you guys can see what else I do. Okay. Zero attention gaming. Most hype moment from E3. That's easy. Ghost of Tsushima. That that game from Sucker Punch is going to be batshit crazy. I did not know what they were cooking up, but I am excited as hell to play that game. Give me a samurai in that game and I'm, I'm most likely down to play it. And it just looked beautiful. It was gorgeous. The way that they... Oh my god, yo, that game is gonna be crazy. The, ugh, yo, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even formulate words, but that was my most hyped moment at E3 because that was completely unexpected, but completely wanted. So, yeah, Team PS4, I have all three consoles, but PS4 is killing it. Okay, Sean Strowman, who is your favorite hip hop artist of all time? Easy question, Jay Z. Jay Z is the GOAT. Um, only artist to really stand the test of time. Been in the game for over two decades, still putting out consistent music, always evolving with the times, never staying stagnant. So Jay-Z and he, his growth as an artist has been spectacular for me to see and see the things that he's championing now in his music. And lyrically, um, I feel like I can relate to his music and what my goals are. I feel like he's speaking like grown man talk and I respect that a lot. Fun fact, at one point in time, Kanye West was like my favorite rapper when I was a kid, but then slowly as I started getting older, Kanye started to get on his bullshit and you know, Jay-Z has continued to mature as an artist. It's kind of like tipping the scales for me. But yeah, second up for me is Kanye. All right. Emperor Meech, favorite Dragon Ball arc? Cell Saga, um, just because I respected Cell as a villain. He's my favorite villain, um, yeah and Gohan's moment. <laughs> Let's pull one out for Gohan, because that Gohan is dead. But yeah, Cell Saga. Chauncey Brown, what jutsu from Naruto would you learn and use? Easy question, Kirin. That when Sasuke came out with that move, that lightning dragon shit was so 
dirty to me that I was like, yo, this has to be like the hardest thing that I've seen in this show. Came up with that all on his own. Yo, kudos to Sasuke. And that would be the jutsu that I would want just because it's gangsta as fuck. Mark Curtis, I love your guys' reactions. After reading the manga, are you gonna watch One Piece? Uh, first, I'm gonna say there's a lot of One Piece questions in here, so I'm gonna do my best to answer all of them. A lot of One Piece. Yes, I'm not gonna watch the entire series. I don't got time, literally I don't got time to watch all of them episodes, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of episodes, especially all that filler bullshit. I remember I, like, before I started reading it, I would skip around, I'm like, episode 900, let me see what the hell this show got going on. And it was literally the first nine minutes was recap of the previous episode. I'm not going through that, dead serious. But I will watch specific episodes on things that I found amazing or very important in the series. And I'm gonna start with the series, the, the arc that I'm going into now. And I'm gonna correlate watching certain things after I read it just to make it uh, more interesting. But yes. Hershey Bar, what made you decide to become a YouTuber slash content creator? For those of you that know that I've been here since day one, you guys know that I started on Instagram with the Your Boy Roshi page, making memes, making you guys laugh, and then I decided, oh sorry, I had a burp. Um, and then I decided why not take it to YouTube and talk about Dragon Ball with you guys, because Dragon Ball Super was on. So initially I was just gonna be doing Dragon Ball Super stuff. Um, I honestly had no clue what the hell I was doing or no direction for the channel at that point in time. Obviously that has since changed and you guys clearly have noticed um, that this is not just a Dragon Ball channel. So thank you for that. But yes, that is why I just wanted to talk with all of you guys because I enjoyed your commentary on my memes. So I was like, yo, this community is actually cool as fuck. Let me make a YouTube and start talking. If you guys watch my first video, you guys see I'm nervous as hell. I look, I look stupid as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. I look dumb. My backdrop wasn't ready. Like, it was just, <laughs> it was just a hot mess. But as time has gone on, I have improved and improved and grown. So, yes. El Drago 79. At this point in the One Piece story, any theories you have on how the arc you're reading will progress, and also which characters are you most curious about and why? Um, I don't have any specific theories on this arc, and I don't come up with theories for the arcs. Specifically because it's so left field, the shit that's going on, that any theory I come up with is going to be absolutely way off the mark. Now, I am sticking with my theory about the whole connection between Luffy and Gold Roger. I think I think they share blood somehow. I don't know what's going on with that and the whole thing with the D. People giving people the D, I guess. Um, but I'm really curious about uh, Gold Roger and Nico Robin and I'm curious about Nico Robin because she can actually decipher uh, the Poneglyphs so I'm just curious to see how her adventure you know unfolds and how things come about I also want to know more about Gold Roger after finding out that he made it to Skypea as well like I want to know I want to know who more about him more about his crew and I would say those are the two characters I'm most curious about. Everybody else is pretty much straightforward in their goals, but yeah. Trey killing them. Who do you think is better, Luffy or Midoriya? That is not a fair question, in my opinion. Um, Luffy has two decades worth of experience in anime and manga, and Midoriya is still fresh. Do I think that um, Midoriya has the potential to get on that level 100%? And I think that the popularity of My Hero Academia has has exploded and I think that it has potential to catch up to One Piece and, and the Naruto's and the Dragon Balls of the world and I think it absolutely will. Um, fun fact, the My Hero Academia movie is now in the top 10 grossing anime films of all time. Yeah, check it. Okay, Ali Nasib Abdi, top 5 most badass anime characters. Um, Goku and Vegeta, one and two, of course. Number three, I would say Luffy. Um, number four, I would say Sasuke. I always thought Sasuke was more raw than Naruto, even to the end. And number five, I would say Aizen. I think Aizen is the greatest anime villain of all time. So that would be my top five, as far as badass anime characters. Next, Christian Lopez, Popeyes or KFC? Popeyes. Next, Jesse. From Donnie, 
Hey guys, I'm Jesse and I would just like to ask you about Roshi a question about DBZ and that is if you can have one technique from D any DBZ warrior and I mean any what technique would you choose for your signature move? I would say hit and his time skip. I think that was the most creative thing that I've seen in, in Dragon Ball in forever and I love that. Um, I hope we get more of that when Dragon Ball comes back but definitely time skip. VVR, do you think One Piece will become your favorite series? Um, it's possible. I just have to. I, I just want to catch up first and see. I want to read through all the current arcs before I make a decision. But it's 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 climbing up the list right now. And One Piece is, is amazing. Which anime character do you relate to the most, or your favorite video game console? I'm gonna answer my favorite video game console. My favorite video game console is the PlayStation 2. I feel like that's the greatest video game console ever had like the largest library and that was back in the day when I can go to GameStop literally look at a game look at the case and be like this is probably dope buy it take it home and guess what it was actually dope versus now I see a game I actually watch gameplay on the game I'm like wow that could be pretty dope I'll go buy it and I take it home and it's absolutely trash that did not happen in the PS2 era the PS2 era was like the greatest era for gaming and for my favorite genre of gaming which is JRPG so I hold that near and dear to my heart. Concord Drink Tape. Do you or will you be attending any cons or anime conventions anytime soon? I want to go to Kamehameha Con next year because I missed it this year. Um, I, I went to Comic Con here in in Tampa already uh, um, a couple months ago. Uh, Dream Con put on my REC World. Um, I will be work I'm still working with them on that. Um, I worked with them on the first one for those of you who do not know. Um, so I will be attending the second Dream Con again next year. So you guys be ready for that. Do you? Th oh, Lord Shovel. Do you think there will be a rematch between the Vanguard Action Squad at Class One A in the future? Hell yes. I actually think that the Vanguard Action Squad is potentially going to be like the final bosses of of my hero. I don't know why I get that feeling. Because they were introduced so early and and like it's been spread out so far since we've seen them but they make sure to remind you i'm not spoiling things for anybody but they make sure to remind you that yo these dudes are actually badass throughout what's going on so i think that yes there will absolutely be a rematch i'm just curious as to which characters specifically will be involved with each fight so yeah, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. And that is actually the the last question. So yeah, this video was a lot longer than I intended it to be. But yeah, like I said, there was a ton of questions. Um, so I hope I was able to answer a lot of them to the best of my ability and to your liking. So hopefully you guys get a little bit more knowledge on me, who I am, what I like. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And I will catch you guys next time.